In the last three weeks, Jigar State has been faced with devastating floods. The incident has led to the death of about 40 persons with several houses submerged and farmlands destroyed. The most recently hit in the state is Hatija local government area where over 3,000 persons have been displaced. This filling station now serves as a temporary shelter for these families. They are here with the little they could salvage. This child and many others have been suffering from a severe fever since their arrival and are yet to get medical help. An official of the Hadeja Emirate Development Association gives an update on the situation. Out of eight local governments, there are losses of houses, there are losses of farmlands submerged in virtually all the local governments. Uh, in Kaugama local government, we have confirmed loss of life in uh, Marike, in Aweo local government, uh, in Malamodori local government. So the health authorities and uh, the state management agency are in a better position to give you exact figures. The state governor says measures are being put in place to give soccer to the people. I have given instruction to the Commissioner of Education to work with the local government chairman of the affected uh, local government to work out on uh, possibility of moving those people to some of the primary schools that we have there and uh, see how we can house them there, create catering service for them until we resolve the issues in their own villages. It's no different in Kogi State, North Central Nigeria, which is known to be one of the most hit by flooding due to the flow of water from River Niger. Homes submerged, families displaced and road users stranded as a result. The people call for urgent intervention. Flood of 18 is, is a problem that occurs occurring on a yearly basis. And I think that the, this problem is beyond the state government and I urge the federal government to intervene. State Emergency Management Agency says although the situation is as a result of a natural disaster, measures can be taken to ensure safety. We started by way of uh, sensitization, public enlightenment, and an awareness campaign. And in emergency management, there are stages. And that first stage is to let people know that flood is coming and this was what we did some few months back with these people in desperate need of help for food decent shelter and health care the hope is that the relevant authorities come to their aid to avoid a worsening of the situation